Hi, I'm Kenneth Weidster. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photography talks. So sometimes I deviate. The last couple of videos, there was a typewriter sitting over on the side, and I'm betting a few of you who have a little bit of an appreciation for great design were going, what is that? And some of you, I bet, even know. So I'm going to do a quick little video on why, as photographers, we create photography that lasts. Maybe as writers, we should add a little bit of captioning or stories to our photographs. This is a Hermes 2000. This is a made in Switzerland typewriter. I use typewriters to write stories and to write thank you notes and things like that. And that's, there's a documentary called California Typewriter out that's about using typewriters as a way of using a small way to make something that lasts. And it has a direct correlation to photography, I think, because photography, we shoot film so that it'll last. Well, it's the same thing with the typewriter. For me, when I'm writing something, I may be writing notes to myself, I may be writing down thoughts, but I'm writing them down and I'm storing them and I'm saving them. If I'm writing for, uh, if I'm writing for a, a, a screenplay project that I'm working on, I'm actually writing out outline and, and ideas and I'm actually laying it next to me and then when I'm working with a computer I have something I can look at. And it's not on a file back behind the file I'm working with, it's right in front of me. And look at that, it's a Hermes 2000. I got this for $25 at a local sale and it's just a beautiful piece of engineering. It's like a Leica from the typewriter world. And if you want to buy any typewriters, that's one of the one things you can get into without spending the money that cameras cost. But it's one of those treats, I think, to be able to work with something that is, uh, maybe has the, the, the physical quality of ink on paper, hand on keys, and you're making something, just like a photographer makes an image with a camera and, and, a, and a piece of film. And to me, there's a pretty good correlation. So maybe you don't need a typewriter, and certainly if you don't want one, sure, don't get one. But they're readily available. And they're only $20 or $30. And if they're any more, don't pay for it, because it's not worth it. They go for $20 or $30. Sometimes at antique stores, you can see them for $75 or $100. Just get a $25 one. But if you get one, you're creating something, even if it's just notes on the last roll of film, some of the places that I was, so that they can exist in, in textual form. What are those moments? And those moments will last because that piece of paper that comes out of that typewriter, you can file away and that'll be as long lasting as your negatives and your photographs. All right, that's my little talk on typewriters. The other typewriter that's replaced this one today well, we'll talk about that another time. You can guess what that one is in the comments below. All right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying these, please hit the subscribe button. If you can support, hit the Patreon. And thank you so much. I appreciate it.